Hey and welcome to Tights TV. Um, Neil and you've all seen him. Caleb, young Caleb is on. He's going to give us thoughts about a Bristol game and we're going to talk about Sheffield United, a big derby coming up on Saturday. So glad to have you on board again, Caleb. Thank you. No, not a problem. Um, so we'll get straight on to it then. Uh, Bristol City game, obviously we won 2-0. Uh, what were your second game? Was it, was it a good performance, uh, Caleb? Yeah, I think we was great getting up and great getting back as a team. Mm. Do you think, uh, obviously we won 2-0, do you think we were a few more goals in it? Do you think we could have won 3-0, 4-0 or, you know, we're 2-0 probably be about right score? Well, if we didn't have trouble on the wings like with Styles and Vita, mm -hmm. I think we could have then. We always have trouble on the wing. Yeah, I think that as well is that I think Britain started having a bit better game. Uh, <coughs> Styles, Queen, and Bassey all did well. Another player what I, I, I uh, thought had a really good game is uh, Matty Wolf. I thought he had another good game. He's only a young kid. Son, what do you think about Matty Wolf? I think he's a great player for that age, and he mm. always gets involved in the match. Mm. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, it seems to be he's got, what can I say, he, he's committed. He likes to go in for a tackle. He wants to break up play. And it, it seems to be, I think since he's come in, in that midfield area, he seems to have made it a bit more solid, a bit more uh, yeah, confident. Like yeah, and that allow, uh, like, such as Yabassian back to play um, and Morris. So I think he's fetching more people into it. Um, obviously, with goals were scored, to, it were a clean sheet as well. Uh, so that's going to be going into the Sheff Sheffield United game on Saturday. Big game. It's an early kickoff as well. Um, how do you think it's going to go against Saturday then, uh, Caelan? Well, like I said, it was a great team performance. So I think if we do that again, we should win. Mm. Would you be happy at the, the players that started on uh, against Bristol? Do you think... It should be the same team again. What's going to play Sheffield United? Would would you make any changes, or would you be happy as it is? Well, I don't know about Morris because he looked injured, didn't he? Good, yeah, that's a good point. But um, I were a bit concerned early on when when I saw him take a knock and he went down. Um, and he, I know he went off. It, you know, they subbed him off. All being well, it's not an injury. Um, if it is, like you, like you just brushed on me, if it is that he's not 100% fit, or would you or would you bring him for him kind of thing? Or would you replace him with? I don't really know, but hmm. if I do, if I have a choice, I probably wouldn't replace him because he played well. Going back to the derby game, hmm. it, then it was like, oh, let's just kick a ball around now. He's getting stuck in and everything. Hmm. I think, uh, yeah... Uh, good point. Derby game, I think it uh, was a poor performance all the way around by the team. No attempt to run away and say it out. But since then, I think he's took a good word. If it is that Morris is 100% fit, I think I'd like to see probably Izaka play um, instead of him. But I'd want to keep it the same 11 because of the starting to understand one another's games like your Bassi and Queen of it seeming to understand that and um, obviously be Morris gain a goal on uh, Saturday you want that form to continue do you think Sheffield United will make any changes do you think they'll alter the game plan because they've got a, a former man well pl former player managing Ben Paul Hacking, but um, do you think Sheffield United will you know play strong well I think they are doing well they've been stepping up their game a lot haven't they hmm they, they, I think they drew last night uh, nil nil against Blackpool, <coughs> and at the weekend they got beat. I think by Coventry. So I'm hoping that they don't see this game because it's a derby. Is like a one to start their winning streak. I hope we we can go and still take it to them, which I think we can. I think we can. Um, Billy Sharp, obviously, you know Sheffield United. I think everybody knows about Billy Sharp. Old an old experienced player, but do you see Billy Sharp as a as a threat as well for goals, uh, Caleb? Well, 
our defence is starting to step up the game, so I don't really know. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Anderson and Illick seem pretty uh, solid at back, so I think when we played against Fulham against Mitrovic, he's the league's goal scorer, and we've made him uh, pretty quiet through the game, so I'm thinking all team needs to play well, uh, not just defence and midfield, but I think it needs to be a complete team performance. Do you agree with that, Caelan? Yeah, if we played like we did last match, then we should be fine because that was a great team performance. Yeah, well, from from uh, goalkeeper from Collins right up through Morris, I thought everybody played the it's party. Not like, in that. It's not like all I did the best. It's a great team performance. So good, I don't but think yeah, anyone can say they're the best player. Yeah, that, that's true. I mean, I were out to find a man at match. I think if I were to possibly get man at match. It, it were an hard one, but I think hmm, I'm thinking Matty Wolf might have just got it, and then some people say, "Well, Elick had a good game," and then people say, "Morris." So it, it were an hard one, like you said, yeah. It was straight across the board. Everybody did it as a team, uh, as a solid performance. So yeah, good point on what you've done there, Caleb. Um, so obviously we, we've kind of agreed that we're not going to alter team so much. We've identified some of his players. Do you think? Bassey will still carry on in his form because uh, he seems to be very energetic and he looks confident. Do you think Bassey will have a good game against Sheffield United? Yeah, he's stepping up his game again. But when he first came, I was like, oh, he's a crap player. But now I think he's a OK player. Mm. I think when uh, with Bassey coming from France, it might have took a bit of adjusting. And now he's got into like playing and starting uh, regular. Uh, from the start, he seems to be like every like he, for me. He seems to be like enjoying his football at Barnsley. Um, if it's possible, do you think at the end of the season would you would you like to see Barnsley sign Queener and Bassey or Bassey? Would you like them to stop at Barnsley permanent? I don't know. We could keep him on loan for another season or two. Hmm. I'd but like. I don't... To... We should sign them. I'd like to see him at Barnes and see what we can do because I think they've come in <laughs> and since they've started playing, I think the rest of the team started playing as well. They seem to be a bit more uh, enjoying football a bit better. Yeah. Um, so we've kind of discussed Bristol City. We've come on to Sheffield United game. We've agreed that we're not going to really mess about with the team so much. Like Caelan said, it's a team performance and a, a Bristol game. Everybody played from back to front is a, a solid, a solid, good performance. Vastly better than Derby County. So, score predictions then, uh, Caleb. I know it's away at Sheffield United. Um, obviously, I, I, I want Barnes to win all games all the time, but I just think we being away myself, um, I'm thinking it's going to be a draw this one, one apiece because. It's a derby, you know, all can happen kind of thing. Sheffield United are a pretty good side. I know we are playing good. Ideally, I'd want us to win like 2 0, but I, I can't see that happening. Um, so I'm thinking it's going to be one apiece. And what 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 you're thinking on the game? I'm always thinking confident. So mm -hmm. I think 3 1 to Barnsley. Get in. I'll take that, Caelan. I'll take that, mate. Yeah, there's no up with that. And like I said, who knows? Uh, if we get an early goal, uh, their, you know, if we get an early goal, their fans could be on Sheffield United's case and they'd be under pressure then. So, yeah, uh, I'll take that because, you know, we all want to win. Uh, I'm saying one apiece. Caelan's saying 3-1. Who would you set goal scorers would be then, Caelan? If it were going to be 3-1, who would you say? Well, if these three start, I think it, should be Morris, Matty Wolf, and Anderson. Three, three different goal scorers then. So sh spread it about a bit. No talk with that. No talk with that. So, like I said, guys, people what are watching, uh, agree with me or agree with Caleb. I think a lot of people will be agreeing with Caleb, but we need a win and three one. Uh, Sheffield United versus Barnes, a win, lose, or draw. Leave your comments below. Um, we all want to win. We, we know that we need points and that. But again, it's that you're watching. Let us know your thoughts. You might say, "Yep, I'm going to go with Caleb, and we're going to win three-one." Uh, or we might think, "Oh, it might be a bit of an hard game." 
so it's all about debates, everybody what thinks about game. Caleb, it's been great for you being on again, uh, mate. We'll get you on soon. Have you enjoyed it today? Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, great backdrop as well from uh, Caelan for Ukraine, what's going off in uh, Ukraine. I've got to top of my channel up here as well uh, for people who are obviously suffering uh, in Ukraine and what's going off in the world. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thoughts go out to everybody involved in that uh, with families and things like that. So, great touch from young Caelan. Uh, everybody what's watching, please like, subscribe and share. Please leave comments below. Um, one thing left to say, what is it, Kaylin? You Reds. You Reds.